friends it's such a joy to have you back um, studying together on the subject of faith we've been talking about walking with faith generating faith and today i want to talk about releasing faith there are a couple of scriptures that uh, i will share with you to begin with you now when we have faith in our hearts how do we how do we um, apply it how do we see the power of that faith released the first one is to speak our faith in mark chapter 11 and verse 23 this is what jesus told his disciples for assuredly i say to you whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things which he says will be done he will have whatever he says so jesus you now talking about moving a mountain says this that a person who believes those things that he says or speaks will be done whatever he says will be done he will have whatever he says so the emphasis is on the spoken word when we believe we are invited to speak that faith i'd like to give us an example if we are going through um lack in our lives you know it's very easy for us to say with our mouths uh, with our, with our um words that uh, i'm really struggling nothing is going well for me i will never have enough you know those are the words that come out of our mouths but based on what mark 11 23 says you know he who believes let him say to the mountain and he will have whatever he says so if i have faith in my heart that god will provide for my every need uh, it's not wrong to acknowledge the fact but faith would speak what the word of god uh, speaks so in a situation of lack this is what god's word says that god will supply my need according to his riches in glory god's word says this in our lack that you know uh, we will never see a righteous struggling for a bowl of uh, rice we see god's word say the lord is my shepherd i shall not want you know it is he who gives me the power to make wealth so speak your faith in every other situation that you face in your life the other way for us or the second way for us to release our faith is to act on it james chapter 2 verses 14 22 and 26 what does it profit my brethren if someone says he has faith but does not have the works can faith save him do do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also so the first way for us to employ our faith is to speak it the second way is to simply act on it and one example is even if we are facing fear and anxiety when we believe that god will bless the work of our hands one of the things that we can do is to just step into that assignment and trust god as we're working we're trusting god that god will bless the work of our hands you know uh, that uh, we have been created for good works in christ jesus uh, and that we will see god's blessing on the work that we do so uh, i want to encourage us friends if you have faith in your heart speak it if you have faith in your heart do what god is asking you to do let's pray together heavenly father we thank you god for uh, um, the faith that you have given us we pray that you will give us the grace lord to release the power of that faith and to see mountains moved in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.